Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing very well. In this video, we are going to see how we can download and install the Safari browser in Windows 11 computer or Windows 10 PC. So it is a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's get started. So first of all, let me tell you guys that this product is by uh, Apple and it has discontinued a uh, long time ago and the updates are not much. So the last update was in 2015 or 16. So the interface might not be as upgraded as the current browsing standards. So, but if you want to download it for whatever reason, you can absolutely do it by using a link in the archive section of the Apple support. What you can do is just open up any browser. I'll just open Google Chrome here and just paste it right here. So this is the link of the web archive dot org where the support dot apple dot com has linked the safari browser so i'll just go in here and here it is the safari 5.1.7 for windows let's click on download it might take some time depending on your system speed so just sit back and relax as you can see it's downloading right here so i'll just fast forward the process and show you the process after the downloading now that it's downloaded properly just start the installation directly by clicking on the link or the set of files so it should immediately start the downloading process here guys and uh, now I don't need this one so let's close out of this browser window and this is a pretty straightforward installation it's a welcome screen of the Safari installer let's click next I accept the terms just change it to that click next and install Safari desktop shortcut so if you don't want to uh, install any kind of shortcut on the desktop you can just uncheck that Make Safari default browser for all users. If you don't want that, you can uncheck that. Install Bonjour on Windows if you don't want that. We can uncheck this one as well. And I will not make it a default browser for all the users, so just uncheck that. In fact, I'll just keep this one as checked because I want the shortcut on the desktop. So it depends on your preference. And if you want to keep it automatically update, that's better because it will not make much difference because as I told you, the updates are shut down a long time ago. So we can keep it checked. Click on next. And by default, the destination folder is in C and program files. Click install. And here is our installation started. It is asking you for some uh, changes to device. Allow this app to make changes to your device. Click yes. And the downloading and installation process has started. It's asking to allow some app access again. So click yes. So now it has shown the congratulations screen. Uh, we can keep this one as checked because as soon as it closes the wizard, it will automatically start the browser. Also, we have the icon right here at the desktop. So click on finish and you might immediately feel that you are back in time. As you can see, the interface of this browser is quite old. We have the Yahoo options, Google Maps, YouTube, Wikipedia, news, all of the, the things or updates of that time. So this is it. In fact, it will run a little bit slower as well. But if you want to install the Safari browser, here is how you can do it. So I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Also, if you want to learn more amazing text related stuff, you can join the playlist link in the description. And I will see you in the next one.